useless. She can't hear me. How do you wake up someone who is trapped in a limbo? What could be used as a push? Think, Jen. Think! The song! My tape recorder. I could hook it up to the loudspeaker. understand how it managed to move around the hotel unnoticed. I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice-infested suitcase. I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. I have to reach the cinema room. In the old wing.
Why? Andrea! And what do we have here? Shouldn't you be cleaning room 212? Of course. And I am. It's just that... Uh, what? That... Uh, do you, by any chance, have a key for the cinema room? Ashman asked me to clean it up a bit. That's the least you could do, after the mess you made. You're absolutely right. Anyway, I'll be very quick, and then I'll, I'll come back to finish off room 212. <laughs> I can't help you. After what you did, Mr. Ashman insisted that no one else was to have access to the cinema room but himself. He has the only key. And I believe he's taking a nap in his room right now. I'll be quick. Let me speak with him. Young lady, don't make me say it again. Go to room 212 and do your job! Now we can have a look around the place. Okay, I have to find the film before saying goodbye. It was here, I'm sure of it. Gotcha, before saying goodbye. No, 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 no! no. I beg you! I'll take this, my dear. <gasps> you cannot stop her! And it certainly won't be stuff like this that is going to stop her. And it's all your fault. You helped Gloria with it, breaking Wyman's loop. You asked me to do that! You were the ones who gave Gloria this power! Don't you understand? This doesn't only concern Lynn or me. This concerns everyone! It's useless! Your sister is controlling us like puppets! As did Wyman! Waking up Lynn from the limbo! This is the only way we can get rid of her! Gloria will only grow! She will continue to grow until she's gotten her revenge! You too will be part of her revenge! That same revenge which is consuming every cell in your body! My mother! She never loved you! Richard Felton, my father, is the only one she Felton. ever loved! That thing? A laughing stock! I am your father! No! Richard is and always has been! Regardless of his gender! Who cares? He brought me up! He was a great father! You're only a child! You are a laughing stock! A ridiculous child! Why don't you go play with your dolls? Keep your nose out of these things. Why don't you behave like other children? Play hide and seek or ring around the rosy. Yeah, let's do that for all time's sake. Please, I beg you. Turn to the basement and play this film on the projector.
started the fire. She betrayed all of she you. She didn't have a choice. You tricked her, drugged her, and forced her to do it. Gloria, you believe me, right?
Thank you! It's me! Me! Your mother Akarantia! It's me! Stop! I told you, stop! Stop it! No! No!
like them. You used to be my sister. You did it. You... You betrayed us all! Lynn! It doesn't matter how. We Lynn. have to go! Or when! But I won't be satisfied until you'll all be dead! Lynn! I think I'll we have to go! By killing your parents, Celeste! <sighs> <laughs> promise me that you'll put an end to this. I'm not going to promise anything. That you'll put an end to all of this. I want you to shoot me. Promise me. Promise me. Okay. Okay. I know that shortly after she returned to her parents, the Feltons, but things got out of hand. And you know, Gloria kept her promise. Her thirst for revenge was not quenched. But Jennifer managed to run away. I know that she's somewhere in Sweden now. She writes. She's a writer or something like that. Her publications are signed under a pen name. How many other people? What do you mean? Before you successfully found that Jennifer and brought her to the Ashman Inn. How many before her? How many girls did you suspect to be the mother Acherontia? To then end up living under Porcelain's mercy? How many? They were simple mistakes. How many simple mistakes? Fourteen. Fourteen altogether. You will shoot me! Won't you? Right? Turn to my parents. But what about the contest? I'll be there. I promise. Please step away from the <laughs> 
<laughs> promise me. I promise. <laughs> What an odd name for a violin. <laughs> Read Rosemary. <laughs> Red Rosemary. <laughs> I prefer Reed. <laughs> Take it with you. You'll give it back to me at the theater. Now you have no excuses for missing the performance! I'll see you there! <laughs> I didn't keep that promise. I returned to my parents the following day, the Feltons. Gloria followed me shortly after. She managed to subdue them. She got her revenge. I ran away again, leaving everything behind. I'm sure that if I hadn't, she would have killed me. And when? Was just left there waiting for you. Madam, how did you come to know about this whole story? Did Rosemary, Lynn, try to contact you? No. She didn't. I think that as long as she knew that I was safe and I had forgotten everything, nothing else mattered to her. But this doesn't explain everything else. It happened last year. Yes? Am I speaking with Celeste Felton? Who are you? I'm calling on behalf of Miss Lindsay. She is very weak now and has asked to see you. She left the following day. Ashman was right when he said Lynn was Wyman's inheritance, and the only thing that he left her was his Alzheimer. This is from her. Thank you. 
older sister. My older sister. I was only two years old when... When... By now she would have been... 64. 64 years old. She was one of the other Jennifers. One of the 14 gone missing. Kidnapped. Killed. Before they successfully found the right one. Me. Lynn never managed to come to terms with it. For all these years, she held on to my memories, her own, and those of the other victims. I know she went back to the top of the world many times, hoping that maybe one day my memories might resurface. Wanna live a life?